Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Lojak. We are continuing our early look at the uh, upcoming NFL season with Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. We're going down the NFL division by division, looking at uh, win totals right now. I'm quoting Heritage Lines and Troy West, of course, in the midst of killing it in the NBA playoffs with us. 23-10-1 against the spread in the NBA right now, in the uh, in the NBA playoffs with us. And uh, long-term, has done great, giving us free picks in the NFL routinely in the upper 50s, around 57% lifetime with us. So very happy to have him back with us. Right now, we're going to take a look at the AFC North. Troy West, thanks for being with us. Hey, thanks, Pete. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're just going to get consistency with allplayswin.com. You're going to get consistency winning and consistency in the customer service department. We've been with you guys for quite a few years now and have just been consistent winning overall. And I love this time of year, Pete. I'm, I'm so pumped that the NFL's right around the corner. And as I've said in all these previous prop videos, I think there's some serious value if, if investors and gamblers out there are willing to put their money and let it ride throughout the course of the season. I truly believe that there's some money to be made in these bigs. Okay, well, the AFC North is pretty interesting, right? Pittsburgh, uh, 11 wins last season, uh, eight and a half, minus 130 is their win total for this year. Cincinnati, 10 wins last season. They've won nine, uh, at least nine games the last four seasons in a row. They're just at eight and a half, minus 130. And in general, it's a division with uh, three good quarterbacks. And then, of course, Cleveland with some serious issues at quarterback. Cleveland is at six and a half wins. The over is a plus 120. What's your take on the uh, AFC North, a, a, a division with, uh, with good quarterbacks in general? Yeah, you know, it is. And I, I would actually have to go right away. My first initial lean and a first official pick is with the Cincinnati Bengals, mm -hmm. Pete. Obviously, this isn't a, a, a playoff-prone team that's going to make a deep run. They've proven year after year after year that this team cannot get it done in the playoffs. But, Pete, they have proven year after year after year they're going to get 9 to 10 wins. Right. And I think Andy Dalton, obviously, another year under his belt, same group of guys, same core guys. We know A.J. Green in, inconsistent with being healthy. But in the end, the Cincinnati team is very, very good at home. They beat the, the, the Super Bowl champions last year at home. They've just been a good, consistent home team, and they've been good enough to get enough on the road. I got to go with the over. I know there's no reason to believe that this Cincinnati team isn't at least 9 and 7 maybe even pushing in the 10 and 6 mark. So to me, it's a no-brainer. Got to go over with Cincinnati. Okay, 8.5, minus 130 is the current line at uh, Heritage. And then let's get your read on Cleveland. You know, obviously the issues are a quarterback. With past uh, recent drafts, they've drafted to strengthen their trenches, which is in general a good move long-term. Maybe that'll pay off. Manziel and McCown, what's the deal at quarterback? Uh, their win total is low, though. 6.5, the over is plus 120. And they had these issues last year, and they won seven games last year. So maybe even with the issues of quarterback, uh, the over six and a half might be a play with Cleveland. What do you think? Yeah, this is a really tricky one, Pete, because there's so many question marks. Obviously, who is the starting quarterback? Is it going to be McCown? Is it going to be Manziel? Whoever it is, I don't think you can feel good about either of those two guys. You know, they got so many issues offensively. It's just an absolute disaster. I know they were able to put together some stuff last year and get some interesting wins. They know they got the late field goal against Atlanta last year. They pulled off some wins. They beat the teams they were supposed to. They lost the teams they were supposed to. For me, it's a pass. I could see him being 6-10. and 10. Could even see him being 5-11. and 11. Mm -hmm. Would I be absolutely shocked if they hit the 7-win mark? No, I wouldn't, but way too many variables. This team is a disaster when it comes to that quarterback position and, and the variables of what you're going to get out of Manziel. This team, I don't think, is a 7-win team, but for me, it's a pass. Be way too tough to tell. All right, so you like Cincinnati over 8.5 at minus 130, and then Pittsburgh and Baltimore, kind of similar teams, right? Two teams that, uh, you know, have... have talented veteran quarterback leadership defense could be a liability though for both teams and the win totals are, uh, are relatively similar eight and a half minus 130 for Pitt nine minus 115 for Baltimore are both those a pass you have any kind of lean on either of those teams I would go under with Baltimore and the reason really? why okay. is it, I could see them being nine and seven and you obviously if they're nine and seven you get the push but this Baltimore team Pete really doesn't have much on offense or defense obviously you know, this is a team that makes the playoffs year in and year out. And Joe Flacco looked a little bit better last year. But I just don't think that they have enough offensively. They're receiving cores down a little bit. I know Justin Forsett had a breakout year, but I don't think he's the answer at running back to give them a real push. Defensively, they're good, but they're not great. I think they're right around a nine-win team. I would be shocked to see Baltimore get ten wins. So for me, I would actually lean under because I think you're safe on a push at nine and seven, but I think they're more of an eight and eight team this year. So officially you want to go over eight and a half minus 130 with Cincinnati. And is that it? Are the rest just leans? 
I'll go under with Baltimore. I'll okay. go official with under with Baltimore. Right now, under 9, minus 105 is the line. I'm quoting Heritage Lines. If you shop around, of course, you can probably get a little bit better. Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. Thanks so much.